so I will first uh, just set the stage and then I will introduce uh, the two speakers. And then I know each of you have, have a few slides that you want to present uh, on a different amazing tools um, for the audience. And then we have a number of questions uh, that I will be asking, but also a question coming from uh, our different uh, audiences. So um, first of all, um, uh, the last two days, we had the huge leadership summit with UN Global Compact. It was the 20 years anniversary. And uh, within uh, the 17 global goals, as we know all really well, um, uh, have been around uh, since 2015, uh, and your Global Compact in principles. Um, yesterday, we did a big announcement uh, on what we call a translation uh, of the, uh, not all of them, but of some of the 17 uh, global goals, translation for corporations. Uh, to be able uh, to apply uh, in a bigger way that they are done earlier, to help them to apply in a bigger way they're done earlier, uh, what we call the business benchmark. And at uh, beginning of the year, together with uh, the Secretary General, um, we launched the uh, SDG ambition, uh, which is an implementation framework. And then this Monday, we launched then the first 10 business benchmark. And the third publication that is coming out would then be actually where you take the tin uh, business benchmark and then you cascade them into uh, what is very important for this session into a number of KPIs. So you can really go in and measure up against those business benchmark and then further down into underlying business process, process steps and down the line uh, enterprise architecture where you will collect the data set. But to do that, you need tools. And this is exactly what this session here is about. This session here is about um, community toolbox on SDGs. And uh, we have two amazing, uh, not to say that's probably a bit more than that, uh, but we have the um, student test and we also have the SDG dashboard. And uh, with me, we have some incredible people. Uh, we have, uh, if I say the name correctly, Aurelian Decaps, probably almost. Uh, who is the co-founder of the Solid Test, and I know he's going to talk a lot about this and share this this tool set. Um, and then we also have David Steingart, a dear friend of me, uh, who is the associate professor and director at St. Joseph University. Uh, he has so many things he has done, but one of the things that he is he has uh, he has founded is the SGD dashboard. Uh, so by this, I would like to. Um, have each of you just to say a couple of things about yourself, and then I know you will, pre will be presenting the different two. So um, let me uh, hand over the word uh, first to you, David, uh, and uh, you take the stage. So we're not doing the presentation part now, Anne, right? We're just introducing. I think you should, I think you should incorporate it so you introduce yourself and also uh, present at the same time. Oh, okay. Yeah. Uh, well, my name is David Steingart, and as Anne said, she's also a dear friend of mine. She's been very supportive of this dashboard, and uh, we have a short amount of time to present it, but I will post the deck, and you can consult with uh, some of the prime champions and other prime schools who've used the dashboard. And basically, we got involved with this uh, a few years ago when our institution became interested in the SDGs. And Anne, I think I'm just going to jump right in here and share, if that's okay. Uh, here we go. And you can see everything fine? Yes, and for the people on the session, if you want to see close on the slide, you just double click on the screen and it will be full uh, full screen. Yeah, great. Thank you. Excellent, thank you very much. Um, so as I was saying, our journey started with uh, this big meeting of the, it, it was essentially in the fall during uh, General Assembly week and UN Global Compact and Prime had an open invitation for students and faculty. So we brought a contingent and became very interested in how our school could participate in the SDGs. Uh, and the basic question, of course, is what is the role of SDGs in higher education? I became very, uh, I would even say obsessed with this question. I spent my sabbatical sort of developing uh, thinking and then eventually a tool you're going to see here. So the, the dashboard is basically a simple platform of sharing information about the SDG best practice impacts of business schools and universities. 
And there, uh, it was a couple other sessions I was on this morning and also at the UNGC, the Leader Summit. Um, this idea of being able to see what schools are doing and partner and share or other businesses or civil society is key for us to doing this uh, together and better for the future. Uh, we're fortunate that the dashboard is actually registered on the partnerships platform uh, at the UN, and that gives us uh, some more access. It also makes us accountable because I see our report here is due in 11 months. So let's get into it. What is the actual dashboard? So what you see before you is the visualization of a massive amount of data collected from different institutions about what they're doing in the SDGs. And because of time constraints, I'm not gonna be able to actually take you on a tour through the platform, but you can access the link uh, and you can see everything that's in there in terms of schools and impact. So here's the basic idea. SDGs are important. Impact is important. What does a university or business school do? They teach, they research, they create partnerships, they have dialogues and they practice what they preach. Are they a sustainable institution? So this basic layout here uh, allows you to assess and manage and see both individual school impacts. And now for the prime community, we have half a dozen schools in the dashboard and you can kind of see some emerging trends maybe of where attention is put. So for example, it's not surprising, we see teaching is a very, uh, uh, there's a lot of activity in teaching. And how about life underwater? We don't see a lot there. So you can use this and business school deans uh, have been using this as a tool to look at their impact and uh, you know, strategically manage an institution. So what you see below here are these blue um, uh, lines here are actual links to research papers, syllabi, the tools that you need to see what other schools are doing in SDG impact. And what I've done is I've taken uh, a select group of those, which I will show you later. And how does that connect to prime principles? Well, here we have the prime principles are basically translated into the impact areas. And I'm very proud to say that with our work with the dashboard in prime and elsewhere, this remains uh, a constant. We are also adding, you won't find it on the website now, we're adding a, uh, a search tool so that you can search trendy topics, which are unfortunately trendy about racial injustice and COVID-19. And I will actually show you some dashboard examples from there. Uh, we've had uh, participation from a lot of countries. And here's really the key. We have had the generous participation of 29 different prime schools, prime champions, a couple non-prime champions from 2016 who've been working on this. And where are we at today? These are our global leaders. These are the six schools that are deeply involved in the dashboard. And I just want to show you some highlights from what they have been doing. Um, this is from ISA in Brazil, one of the first papers to outline the sustainable development goals, the Agenda 2030 and prime education. That was a special issue. Uh, uh, Ruth from, uh, which is now FHGR, uh, this is an anti-corruption book, and that was mentioned in one of the earlier sessions today. Uh, from Renipa IBS in Moscow, we have a paper on ESG and social responsible investing that's in the dashboard. And now we have some contemporary uh, stuff as well for from Hanken in Finland on the pandemic response from Case Western, our newest school to be brought on yesterday, actually very excited. Hi, Megan. Thank you for all of your help in the last moments here. Uh, a hackathon to get solutions for COVID-19 experts panel back to uh, Renipa, Social Justice Institute for the horrific and uh, long overdue uh, revolt, if you will, about the injustices of race, gender, and economic disparity in the states and all over the world. Um, if you want a syllabus from another school, Glasgow, Kelly News, you, you can actually go on the dashboard, find the syllables and start teaching a course. They give you books, they give you some guidance on exams. It's all right there. And we also have the ability to integrate the, um, the SDG dashboard data into SIPs. And the SIP and the SDG dashboard work well together. So this is the first pioneer, uh, my dear colleagues, uh, Jurg and Livia in uh, FHGR in Switzerland, that's going really well. You can find reference to the SDG dashboard in their last SIP. Uh, we also use some Qualtrics to collect data, which has been great. And that's SAP Ann's company, and she's been very supportive there. Uh, last thing I want to leave you with, uh, there's a concurrent session now 
on the newly released blueprint for SDG integration and business goals, which is basically the manual. And Anne, you referred to it on the corporate side, the work you're doing with Deloitte and UNGC. Uh, this is the guide that will help the prime schools to integrate SDG practices into their institutions. The SDG dashboard can be a vehicle to record and report both individually and in the aggregate, the impacts of prime in the SDGs. All right. I know that was fast, but if people have follow-up questions, of course, we'll have time to do that. Thank you. We cannot hear you at the moment. I uh, think that the work that David is doing is just amazing all over the world, and he's really a, a, a champion on bringing out this to academia worldwide. So, over to you, uh, tell us about the uh, Sule test, uh, and I also know you have a couple of slides to talk about yourself and uh, the mission that you're on with the Sule test. I think it's coming up shortly here. Yeah, it's, it should be coming up. Okay. Can you see the slide now? Yes, thank you. Okay. Thank you very much uh, for letting me uh, briefly present what we are doing at Sulitest.org, which is an NGO a developing online tool to rise and to map sustainability literacy. Uh, our story starts at Rio Plus 20 with the launch of the UN Higher Education Sustainability Initiative. Uh, in a few words, this initiative gathers several UN agencies, such as uh, Prime and uh, UNESCO or UNDESA, uh, with academic network, professional network, and more than 300 higher education uh, institutions with the core mission to accelerate uh, sustainable development uh, in higher education. Sulitest is a tangible implementation of EZI, uh, with, and it started with this simple idea, uh, how do we make sure that current and future decision makers have a sufficient level of awareness on the global challenges to take informed and effective decisions? Uh, not just students who will take the specialized courses or the sp specialized masters in terms of sustainability, but everyone should have basic sustainability literacy in order just to be aware of the challenges and to make informed and effective decisions. Whatever your study, your university, a lot of us have taken some standardized tests uh, like TOEFL or GMAT to make sure that we are not perfect English speaker, but we can use English in our professional context. The first core idea of Sulitest was to create a kind of equivalent, uh, but for sustainability, with our main tool, which is a sustainability literacy test. How does it work? Uh, we developed these tools together with other tools uh, since the inception of Sulitest on an online platform, sulitest.org, uh, where you can register whether you are a university, uh, a corporation, an NGO, an institution, or another organization. Uh, you can register on the platform to use this online tool and raise awareness on sustainability and collect indicator to monitor progress on sustainability literacy. So our main tool is this test, this sustainability literacy test, uh, which is an online multiple choice question, uh, gathering several modules. We have a what we call the core module uh, to tackle international challenges uh, with uh, international questions available in 10 languages. And as Sulitest is moving forward, we have developed other modules. Uh, we have today two uh, country specific modules and also SDG specific modules. And once we move forward, uh, we have developed uh, more tools than this sustainability literacy test with the possibility to customize your own module for your university or for your organization. For example, at Catch Business School, where I am a professor, uh, some 
faculty members have developed their own Sully test module to add to the existing module available on the platform. We have also a tool for gamification with a, an interactive quiz to play per team on a specific version of the test, which is quite fun and interactive with a different audi audience. So we have developed uh, the, the tools that are available on this platform. Where are we today? Uh, a little bit more than 150,000 people have taken the test so far uh, in something like 45 different countries. Uh, we have 20, uh, we have, sorry, uh, uh, 17 country specific modules which have been developed by Sully Test regional committees. The regional and national expert committees are in charge of disseminating the tool in their own country and also developing their own country specific question. Several of these uh, regional committees are prime chapters, such as in the UK and Ireland, for example, or in Brazil. And we have a senior advisory board, mainly with UN agencies and international uh, academic and professional network to validate the evolution of the tool and the content that is put online. With this uh, community growing, uh, community of users growing using the, the, the Sully test, we have also a unique database uh, that is fed by uh, the different users of the Sully test, which can be used not only to raise awareness about sustainability, but also to map the progress of sustainability literacy uh, on the scope of, on, of the 17 SDGs. This is why Sully test uh, is reporting every year at the high level political forum uh, to give a snapshot of the evolution of sustainability awareness on the 17 SDGs. This mapping is available online. It's presented every year. And of course, you can access easily uh, this, uh, these documents. Two more uh, insights that I wanted to highlight uh, today. Uh, first, uh, we are uh, improving uh, the, um, the content of Sully test with several modules. The first kind of module that we are developing uh, are SDG specific module, because if you take the Sully test, of course, you will have an idea of the big picture of the 17 F SDGs. But if you want to push your learning further on specific SDGs, uh, you start to have access to this different module that Sully test is developing in collaboration with different uh, UN agencies. And finally, uh, we launched this year, this academic year, a new tool, which I think is really interesting in terms of raising awareness and mainstreaming SDGs in, uh, in pedagogy. Uh, this tool is called Looping by Sully Test. Uh, it's an interface to, uh, to conduct reverse pedagogy for the SDGs. The basic idea is that creating questions which are meaningful, which, has, which have relevant sources, is actually a good pedagogical exercise. So we have developed a tool together with a ped pedagogical kit with resources and, guide and guidelines uh, to use peer learning and collective intelligence to co-create Sully test-like questions to mainstream the SDGs in the pedagogy. I will stop there and I will be happy to answer uh, to, uh, to your questions. Thank you very much. Uh, 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 Aurelian, thank you so much. And I can only say there's a lot of comments uh, coming in the chat where people are thanking both of you for already being front runners on so, so two strong tools uh, to be used uh, to measure and work with the SDGs. So I have a couple of questions for you. So the first one, if each of you could give some concrete examples from practice where you have been using, you already gave some examples, but additional questions, uh, additional examples on how the, the tools have been used um, and how this really have been improving uh, at university campuses. And so if either you could give a couple of, of more examples. Do you want to go first, David? It, it's, it's great. I see Natalia from uh, Renipa IBS in Moscow and Sanchi. I see some of my, uh, the, the users out there. So I will speak for them. Uh, and actually, uh, uh, Tofumi, who is one of our students who's been building the dashboards, we have a very big student population as well. 
Uh, one of the things that has reported in the Qualtrics survey that I sent out to the users, thank you very much for filling that out, um, is that SDGs are important. How important are they? And really, I really liked how you are integrating it into the SULI test, into an academic module, especially now that things are online, that can plug, I'm going to plug that right into my class and make that part of academic credit. Well, you, it, a business school in the prime world is run on a strategic proposition. A business school has to uh, have a, a strategy, a plan, goals, and resources. So with the dashboard now, they can aggregate all of their practices and they can target areas like you went in depth really on the different SDGs, they can target that. So now number 10, reduced inequalities. If you have a dashboard and you're at a school and you look at it and you are bereft of entries of research and teaching in there, you can strategically realign and say, oh no, now the SDGs are now important. We have a way to pinpoint and target those. And to fuel it, you can go into the dashboard and collect the best practices from other schools as well. And one of the themes that was uh, at the UNGC, the Leader Summit yesterday that I found very inspiring was this kind of twofold theme of togetherness, but local. So how can you take these global practices where we're all of humanity and implement them in your own classrooms, in your own sustainability on footprint? You know, uh, th this, this is a tool to put the SDGs into action. Thank you so much, David. Over to you, Aurel. Thank you. Uh, and uh, I will share a couple of examples and uh, also answering to one of the questions in the chat box uh, with example of using this tool in a learning mode. Uh, test, the main tool is a test, uh, but it, the funny thing is that when we look at the community, we, we see that most of the people using more as a learning tool than as a test per se, mm. uh, because with every question you have learning statements, you have sources uh, to, to start your learning journey about sustainability. So very often uh, students have, are given time to take the test. For example, at Kedge, all our students have two weeks to take the test before the courses. Uh, so it's a way of uh, raising awareness on sustainability and also for us to have an ID and a snapshot of the current level of awareness of, of the students before they start the course. So when I teach sustainability, for example, I ask students to take the test prior to the course, and we start the course by debriefing on the global trends and the results of the test with the with the cohort. So that's one way of, uh, of using it. Uh, and the two other tools that I mentioned rapidly during the with the slides are the quiz which is an interactive game with a shorter version of the test. Uh, it's supposed to be facilitated, uh, but it's a fun way to use it as an icebreaker. Uh, if you have a big crown over a big audience uh, over you, and it can be face-to-face -face or online, you put them in teams and uh, you they play with a few questions, six to 10 questions, and every team wants to win. So every team wants to to try to figure out the good answer from the neighboring team and it's uh, yeah it's it's fun and uh, in the end there is a winning team so everyone is uh, is uh, uploading and it it's a good way of learning few things you will not not learn much but uh, uh, it's a, it's a good ice, icebreaker thank you so much thing, yeah please. just yeah. very quickly uh, the the looping tool which is a reverse pedagogy tool is quite interesting because you have to collaborate to co-create question and you realize whether you are a faculty or a student that creating a meaningful question is challenging and doing that together is a good way of engaging a discussion uh, in terms of sustainability thank you so much so there's so much excitement going on in the chat here so a lot of people like to know i think everybody wants to know how can they get started and how can they get access and be part of this? So David, how can people get, get involved uh, and use the SDG dashboard? Well, we um, have a, uh, a process that's very relationship oriented. Uh, we don't have a lot of schools. We have deployments of the dashboard in different networks. So if you're interested, I'll put my email here. That's probably a good thing. Uh, 
and you can email me and we'll start the conversation that way. And, and one of the things that I found valuable, and I, I see Natalia and um, uh, uh, Sanchi, we've developed these relationships with schools and you, you learn a lot by being in connection around the dashboard. Like there is a, at FHGR in Switzerland, they are world experts on anti-corruption and anti-corruption is one of the four pillars of UNGC, right? So um, you can, okay, you have the email there. And then also it's a uh, SDG, I'll put the uh, website in a second. It's hard to, to talk and type. Uh, I wanted to make one other point uh, and really you kind of sparked me about how this is integrating and transforming uh, business schools. Uh, those of you, uh, your, your schools who are AACSB accredited. So uh, there's AACSB, there's EF, EFMD slash Equus. Um, there is a new standard that is coming out in the AACSB world for accreditation. They've, com they've condensed them from 13 standards to nine. And number nine, last but not least, is called social impact. And as a business school moving forward in the decade of action, you will have to account for and demonstrate some type of substantive impact in social and environmental uh, uh, sustainability, human rights, responsible management. So it is, it is sort of the case now where you can use a tool like the dashboard or you can use the SULI test to submit as evidence to the accreditors that you are doing this. In fact, those of you who use digital matters, uh, <laughs> And, and these are all the sort of tools that the schools use to, to supply data. Digital Matters uh, actually is a, is a tool that's used for AACSB reporting and EF. That tool already has built in it as an app, an SDG translator. So if you're a business school that uses Digital Matters, you can push a button and get all of your faculty teaching and research translated into SDGs and submit that for uh, reporting. So I think you measure what you, you can manage what you measure. And as we become more serious about documenting test scores and pre and post on SULI tests and dashboards and all the other great initiatives, uh, we will see that shift sort of continue to move. Thank you so much, David. I know we are a little bit over time. So or if you would give the last comments, uh, Aurelien. Yeah, just just to 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 address a few points and a few questions in the chat. So, yeah, the SULI test uh, and all the tools that I described are available online for free. Uh, the only thing that comes with fees, because we are an NGO with a small team and we have to survive mainly, uh, is the the, customiza the customization. So, if you want to customize your own module, you have an annual uh, membership, uh, but the rest uh, is whether it is a quiz, the test, or the, the looping uh, are free. Uh, and basically, yeah, the tel the SULI test tools are meant to be uh, tools in the toolbox. So they are meant to be connected to other initiatives. Uh, at Catch Business School, you mentioned AACSB. We are preparing our report for AACSB. Uh, so we have uh, collecting the data fr from the use of SULI test uh, to, to answer to this specific chapter. Uh, but also SULI test will not be sufficient. So once you have taken the test and you want to learn more, you have to connect to other pedagogical initiatives. Uh, we are referenced, for example, on the SDG Academy from SDSN or UN uh, SDG Learn. Uh, and SULI test can be also used as a way to to report on what you are doing as a business school. Uh, I'm sure that taking the SULI test should allow you to improve uh, what you put in the SDG dashboard. So by this, I will close the session a little bit over time. Thanks for an amazing session. Thanks to all. Um, and um, just get going, get started with those amazing tools for SDGs. Thank you, David, and thank you, Aurelian. Thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you, much. Anne. Thank you, Aurelian. Thank you, uh, participants. Fantastic. Thank you all.